Hello, welcome to Kitchen Adventures with Hunter and Mimi. And today we're going to be demonstrating a delicious dessert pizza using Pampered Chef products. And the product that we're going to be concentrating on today is a relatively new product and it is the Rock Croc Grill Stone. And it actually feels like stone, it's quite heavy. And we're going to make a dessert pizza um, called a cannoli dessert pizza using this grill stone and some very simple ingredients. Now, when you purchase the Rock Crock, you will get um, a booklet like this that ha already has several recipes in it. The recipe we're using today is the Rock Crock Cannoli Dessert Pizza. So, you will get instructions, and of course, you can always look online on Pinterest and other sites and be able to see some great recipes you can use with the Rock Crock. So, Hunter's gonna help me today, and we're gonna get started what you're going to need to make this delicious dessert pizza is a cup of whole ricotta cheese. Hunter, can you show us that? And we're going to need a fourth cup of powdered sugar and also a tablespoon of sugar, which we have set aside because we'll be using that at the end. Um, we're gonna be using some prepared pizza dough. Can you show that? This is a bistro pizza dough that's found in the cold food section and it's a thin crust. So we're gonna be using that. You can make your own dough or you can buy dough that's made up inside the store, um, whatever you would like or, or your family would, would like. And then we're gonna use two tablespoons of lemon, teaspoons of lemon zest and toppings of your choice. And today we're gonna to be using some nuts, which we have um, chopped in our uh, manual food processor, which is also a Pampered Chef, and we're going to be using some mini chocolate chips. Now, you can put whatever you would like on your pizza when you get the uh, pizza to that point. But first thing we're going to do is mix up our uh, ricotta powdered sugar mix. And so, Hunter, will you get put the ricotta cheese in our um, mixing bowl here? Come right off, okay. Great. All right, and we're going to add powdered sugar. This is one-fourth cup of powdered sugar. Okay, which has been pre-measured. So I'm going to mix that up, and while I'm mixing that up, I'm going to ask Hunter to uh, go ahead and grease that pan with just a little bit of oil, and he's using a paper towel. So we're going to mix the ricotta cheese and the powdered sugar and set that aside for use in just a little bit. And this is just a perfect size uh, batter bowl, the small one, used to use for making that mixture. And I'm also using a, a Pampered Chef scraper, which makes it super easy to keep it down inside your bowl. Okay, we'll set that aside, and we're going to do the pizza crust. Now this, this just makes it a lot easier for you to do for um, a weeknight if you're in a hurry, or if it's after school and you wanna make, you got uh, several children, you wanna make some dessert pizza for them. Using a pre-made crust is a really good thing to do. You don't have all of the um, mixing and trying to press it out. It's pretty much already ready to go. And it's not frozen. So we're gonna lay that down and pull this off here. And Hunter, if you could to take this and the oil from here. I'll be pressing this down a little bit. So I'm just going to stretch this a little bit, if you can see, so that it fits nicely to the edges of the pan. And the recipe calls for mixing lemon zest in with the dough, if you're making the dough. And um, actually, the uh, recipe booklet comes with a five-minute dough that you can make to use for pizza if you would prefer to do your own. And it, it uh, calls for putting the lemon zest in the dough. So since we used a pre-made dough today, we're going to uh, put some lemon zest on top and press it in. And I wanted to show you this neat little uh, grater here that we use for the lemon zest. Very simple to wash your lemon, 
um, and then just grate the lemon zest. Being careful not to get the, uh, the pith in there, just the zest. So that's a really neat contraption there. And uh, we're gonna use just a couple of teaspoons of that. And Hunter, um, if you can help me kind of press that in, spread that around and press it in a little bit. Just gives it a nice little lemony flavor. And who doesn't like lemon? And I love lemonade. <laughs> this is kind of like lemonade. Yeah. Okay, so just kind of get that in places. All right. So we're going to go to station identification right now, and we're going to put our pizza uh, crust in the oven. We're going to cook it on the lowest rack at 450 degrees until it is golden brown. And then when we take it out of the oven, we'll be back and, uh, and ready to put our ricotta mixture on top and, uh, and stick it back in the oven for the final um, cooking. So we'll see you in just a few minutes.